we just address something? You must have heard um, Gaza having been referred to as an open prison. Yeah, you've heard that, right? It's not. It's a concentration camp, right? Let's start using the terms. We don't mind that the other doesn't like these terms. We need to use what is accurate. Can I just describe why Gaza is a concentration camp? Because it's very important. Let's talk about prison first. A prison is somewhere where criminals go. So the minute you talk about prison, it's like, oh yeah, uh, Palestinian criminals, they're all in that prison called Gaza. No. Men, women, and children who have committed no crimes are not prisoners. Agreed? They can't be imprisoned by the state. Good. Secondly, in a prison, the one who controls the prison has to give three meals a day. They have rights to health care. They have to have clean water. And here's a really important thing. They get visitation from the outside world, from their families, and they have a due date to leave. None of these apply to the people of Gaza who have for 16 years been under an illegal siege. People don't seem to understand what that means. You ca I have been on a boat from Cyprus to Gaza through the Israeli naval blockade. That's the only way you can get to Gaza. They're fishing um, their sea the Gazan area of sea, enshrined in this useless international law, uh, sees their fishing men, their fishermen, regularly bombed out of the water, regularly murdered. So there's no way to get in or out. There's no airport. There's, there's no rail system. There's no buses taking them here or there. So therefore, the definition of a concentration camp, a pay space where men, women, and children are crowded into oppressive conditions by an external force because of their, and listen to this, political beliefs, religious beliefs, views, ethnicity. And then they are treated harshly. That's what the Gazan people have experienced and are experiencing right now. We have Zionist Jews bombing a concentration camp. Congratulations.